Greg and I here. How you doing? Hello, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Reporting from Geneva. As you can see, we're outside the main train station among the taxis. I am all girls in there. Too many men, too many men. I am all girls in there. But it only served to hasten my desire to leave the country. The next day, though, I was back on the road to Heathrow, annoyingly. <laughs> But we badly needed not to die during that. You had one job to do, and you failed miserably. <laughs> Before popping back out on the road 20 minutes later than we would have done if we'd have just followed it. A fat controller, sort of bald ticket man, come over to us, ask us for our ticket to uh, Lausanne, and we go, no, we're going to Neon. For a while, we thought it would be fun to try and avoid the inspectors by actively seeking them out. There's a woman now coming this way. Is she? Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's sick. That smells good, man. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> cheese. Nice. Cheddar cheese. No. Uh, we're just going to play dumb and just be like, oh, the lady in the B&B said we could pay on the train. But this booming voiced skipper could only offer us pricey boat driving lessons. It's a nice pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's very smooth, yeah. Uh, okay. And thanks to his luscious blonde locks. <laughs> much to the dissatisfaction of this old timer. Because before my trunks even had chance to dry, they were set to be dampening the seat of our next chauffeur. We're going to see if we can cook. Bits of egg on Greg's scooter. Maybe there was some cool wakeboarder guy there who had some free time, or maybe knew someone who did. Or maybe there was just a normal bloke with poor English and no idea what we were trying to achieve. The unbearable noise that you can now hear is Greg's rear wheel scraping against the now superheated strip of aluminium. Yeah, mate, it's just about open. One of the private jetties had been left open. Otherwise we're swimming out. <laughs> Put this godforsaken piece of shit in here. Good riddance. <laughs> Our hopes rested on one portly middle-aged man. Two stinky peats was one thing. Two wet stinky peats was another. <laughs> These women are laughing at us. What are you laughing at? There's a banger. <laughs> Fucking hell, Doris. We had contemplated sneaking into this water park. Bloody nice guy, wasn't it? Bloody nice guy. The gate opened the old twit. Lesson one, where are you from? Lesson two, discuss the complex issue of the migrant crisis in Europe. <laughs> well, he's just hilarious. <laughs> no one in. Hey! Hey! <laughs> watching the entire two-minute intro whilst driving. Yeah, that's not dangerous at all. It was the marina that the bare-chested man of Lausanne had spoken of, and eerily silent too, until this gaggle of noisy students marched their way past, presumably on their lunch break. <laughs> mate! Isn't it just the case in life, mate, that the people who pick you up drive the worst cars. Quickly used up all the ink in their pen for our next sign, as if they hadn't helped us enough already. And as you watch these clips, you can actually see the hope drained from our faces. This is bizarre. Doing it here. <laughs> and we bloody well did it. <laughs> Tastes like raw red. Yeah! We've just had a wonderful time. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. um, but it's half full. Yeah. Anyway, we uh, are fuck really you. Nice. Even if hippies can be a bit mental. We love you, Paolo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a small child's tourist train around Lake Geneva. Geneva. Or a fully functioning <laughs> national rail service <laughs> from London Euston to, to Glasgow. Basic to Stoke. Stoke. <laughs> Drunk, disorientated, and in need of sleep, we made a controversial decision. Welcome to our humble abode. This is where we've decided to sleep tonight. Right. Right, spit on that now. Hold it. Buongiorno. <laughs> Ciao. 
because we still had one last section of road to cover. That'll do. Uh, uh, my name's Greg. I'm Philip. Philip, nice to meet you. Philip, I'm Tom. Uh, yes, hello. Nice to meet you. Drug dealer or seasoned raver? We couldn't quite tell from his wayward ramblings. All we knew is that he was also from Portugal, but that he didn't know Paolo. Greg boldly opened the toilet door to leave. Get the spider webs off. The only real inhabitants were cultured, short-haired, middle-aged women called Bettina. There might even be a clumsily unlocked door or a room we could sneak into. Right. Heading down for beers and pizza now. Fucking pumping. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. And sunk lots of beers. Oh, he's just texted me saying, oh, don't worry, they don't usually control that line. Uh, bullshit, Leo. Maybe we'll go back there in the morning and make a fire, but this is absolutely fine to sleep. Bonsoir. Bonjour. You might have a shit, mate. Great. I sung a silly song to keep myself entertained. Able. Carry up my needs, are you able? You can't see anything, but we're surrounded by sun loungers on the beach here. And uh, we're going to sleep on one. We're now in German territory. This meant that Greg was now effectively useless. Ahoy there, sir. It was a bad idea. We're heading up to uh, the spot. Uh, our sleeping spot. The plastic on Greg's foot is melting. The rubber is melting. <laughs> because of that. And what's happened to the wheel? Oh, oh, oh! Where Greg quickly established himself as the laughing stock of the village. Look at look at this twat. <laughs> Why are you bored him, mate? Because his scooter was so hot yeah. that we cooked an egg on his scooter. <laughs> Smells like garlic and it's fucking amazing. I love precincts and strawberry breath. 